Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about all the wiring involved in the unlimited e-bike kit. As you will see, there are a lot of options for each and every one of you out there. So, as you already know, each battery will come with two output wires. And in the most common case, a lot of people won't use the accessory wire, which is for options. So this one will come with a little cap, and you don't need to worry about this one if you're not using it. These two wires are completely custom designed by us, and are made to be fully waterproof and very sturdy. So in the most common case, people will just connect to this power wire. All the kits come with this extension wire from the battery to the motor and it just connects power for the motor but also helps us make measurements. We are sensing motor position, speed for the screen but also for the internal control and temperature so we're taking care of the motor all the time. The second most common case are people with the XR Plus or just with the handlebar display as accessory. In those cases, you'll get the kit with this little wire hardness here. It's very minimalistic, it doesn't show much. Here you have the option to connect the screen or the throttle and it connects to the accessory wire here. And the same goes for the throttle. If you bought the throttle and just the throttle, you'll get the same hardness so you can connect. Some of you bought what we call the accessory wire hardness as an accessory. In that case, it is this bigger wire hardness which has a lot more options. You can use here two brake sensors for either side you can have a front light, you can have the, th the throttle and a rear light. It has a lot more options. It is not as minimalistic, but it allows you to do a lot of stuff. We will post a separate update for this guide because it's a bit more complex. And there we will specify the connectors. So for example, if you're gonna, you wanna get your own lights or your own brake sensors, you, you can make sure that they will work. And there we will specify everything. Stay tuned if you're interested in this one. And finally, some of you purchase what we call the extension wire. So for example, you're running the battery on a rear rack with a front motor, or you're running the battery on a rear rack and you have a screen or a throttle. So in those cases, you need an extension wire to get from the battery to either the motor or the screen that is far away. So, so in that case, if you bought an extension wire, you'll get two different wires, a motor extension and a signal extension, making sure that whatever you have, you can run. So as you can see, there are options for everyone. You can have a very minimalistic setup or you can have a complex setup with brakes, lights and everything. So I hope you like it and stay tuned for more.